Hello guys and welcome to my third video on Python and the Google App Engine. I'm going to use uh, the project folder of my previous videos, so make sure to check them out to get to this point. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to render the HTML for your application with Jinja 2. That's their documentation. Check the link in the description. So Jinja 2 is a templating language that comes with a library for Python. It lets you render the HTML files that you want to display in the browser by your application. Using templates allows you to have clean Python code files without any HTML in them. So first we need to install Jinja 2, like stated here. I will use the pip command, so I'm copying that line. Now you need to open your command prompt and paste it. Okay, don't worry about this message, this is just because I'm not upgraded with pip, but it should be fine. Now that Jinja 2 is successfully installed, I will create the folder for our HTML templates in my project folder. I just call it templates. Inside of that folder, create a HTML file, mine is called base HTML. Edit this file, I'm just using notepad, and enter your HTML. I will just create a simple heading and some text. Now save that HTML file and close it. Go back to our app.yaml file, edit this file, and now just add the Jinja2 library. You just need to watch the right spacing, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so save that file as well and close it, and now we are going to code in our Python file. Yep, at this moment, unfortunately, my keyboard crashed, and that's what happened. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm sorry guys, everything works fine now, so let's go back to coding. Open your Python file. Okay, first make some space and then import Jinja2, of course, and OS. Next we will get the correct path to our template folder we just created earlier. Now initialize the Jinja2 environment with the path variable. Autoscape is set to true. This prevents code injections to your site. It escapes just the HTML. So if you want to read more about that, just check the documentation. Now create the class handler that inherits from the web app to request handler. Now add those three functions. These functions will render your HTML files and you will be able to pass strings to your HTML code. Don't worry about them now, if they seem too tricky, you will see the usage in a moment. Credits for those functions go to Steve Hoffman. Now change the main page handler. It should inherit from the class you created before, in my case just handler. As you can see, the class handler inherits from web app to request handler already. In the get request, we will use the render function with the template parameter. Insert the file name of the HTML file you want to render. And that's it. Save that file and close it for now. Now run your application local or deploy it directly to the Google Cloud platform. I will just run it locally through the Google Cloud SDK shell. 
and there you will see how it renders the HTML. Everything worked fine. If you don't know how to run your Python application, just check out my previous Python tutorials. Everything is explained there. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate your subscription and or likes. Feel free to comment if you have any questions.